Sean in Boston writes, Hi, Paul. Hey, Sean. Some streamers do not come with I squared S or balanced outputs. My question is, does it make any difference where the source output, in this case the streamer, uh, whether the, the uh, streamer is unbalanced going to a DAC pre with balanced outputs to an amplifier? <clears throat> Compare that with a fully balanced streamer, DAC pre, stack. Okay, so the question is, if we're not using our preferred method of transferring digital audio data, which is I squared S, I2S, you see that before, which again, I2S is the native digital language or format within a CD player, within a DAC, within a transport. And that's where the lines are separated into separate digital clock and data lines, right? And when we go coaxial, when we go balanced AES EVU or Toslink, we're taking those five multiple lines and we are multiplexing them down into a single stream. So then the question comes down, what's the best way, if you don't have that I squared S like we do on PS Audio stuff and other manufacturers that follow our protocols, you wind up with that single stream. So what's the best way? I think a lot of that depends on the equipment that you're using. I think I don't hear a huge difference between balanced AES EBU, which is an XLR cable and an RCA cable. I think what I hear is it's more dependent on the quality of the cable. So I have our transport. You have a choice, if, if we ignore I squared S, you have a choice of coaxial uh, and uh, XLR coming out, okay? And I've made multiple comparisons between those and I really don't hear any difference using the, so we, we, we're a big fan of AudioQuest cables. So if we use the same XLR AudioQuest, uh, they have all these silly dragons and uh, flowers and I don't know. <laughs> Billy Lowe, your, your, your naming is great. I just can't remember any of it. Whatever it is, the same class of cable, whether it's balanced or coaxial, I don't really hear a big difference, to be honest. Now, when you change the level of cable, that's the one thing I, I'll give AudioQuest kudos for. I mean, every model you jump up, there is an audible, discernible difference. Doggone it, I don't know how you do that, but they do it. And it, and it works. So that's where I hear differences is, is when we step up the cables, but not between balanced and single-ended. And the same is not true for audio signals. We're talking digital now. For audio signals, oh my goodness, the difference between balanced and single-ended, huge. As my friends in New York say, huge, huge. They can't say the H. So, <laughs> but when it comes to digital, eh, not so huge. So whatever one works for you, go for it. All right. Thanks.